Good evening everybody. First time in the history of Tamil literature and also probably for the first time in the history of management. I am going to combine a Tamil literature, one of the well-known books called Thirukural along with a very 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 famous and internationally reputed concept called a blue ocean strategy and the first time I am bringing it to you how this ancient poet from a language one of the oldest language called Tamil has actually applied blue ocean strategy and that's one of the reason that why Thirukural stands out in spite of having a 2000 year old history and Thirukural is one of the book which has been translated to maximum number of languages across the world so let's get into the concept but for somebody who wanted to know actually what is blue ocean strategy please visit my past video which talks about blue ocean strategy and Ramraj Karten. So let's jump into the blue ocean strategy and how actually this poet Thiruvalluvar has applied blue ocean strategy and that is how he actually made his book called Thirukural stand out in the global competition which for somebody who doesn't know what is Thirukural and Thiruvalluvar here is a short note. Thirukkural is an ancient Tamil literature which dates back to close to 2000 years. If you go back to the history, people talk about 300 BCE to 300 CE, that's typically the third Sangam age. That age was actually ruled by approximately 49 Pandya, Pandya kings and almost like 500 or 450 poets were competing in the third Sangam age. Thiruvalluvar was one among them. Look at this beauty of this genius. If this guy has to compete with 500, which is the real time market competition, if this Thiruvalluvar has to compete with 500 poets, and if he has to stand out, not only during the Sangam age, but also for the rest of the ages till this time this universe exists, he has actually adapted something called Blue Ocean Strategy, is my proposal, my dear friends. So what is this blue ocean strategy all about as everybody knows please go back to study my previous video in detail about blue ocean strategy but here blue ocean strategy is an innovation formula which makes any company to beat the competition and stand out throughout the age that is blue ocean strategy and here I'm going to explain that how this genius this Tamil poet from a small state called Tamil Nadu has actually stood out in applying this concept 2000 years back and that's one of the reasons that Thirukkural has been translated and still stands out in maximum number of global languages today. So what did this Thiruvalluvar actually do? And everybody knows Blue Ocean Strategy has four little alphabets. Eliminate, reduce, raise and create. So beautifully if you just look at this Thirukkural format you will just see this Thiruvalluvar has actually applied all these four eliminate, reduce, raise and create and that's one of the reasons this Thirukkural stands out even today across the poems. So what did this Thiruvalluvar actually completely eliminate? If you look at the rest of the poems which came in the Sangam era or even before that the poets were actually having a lot of poems praising the kings praising the gods, praising the individual people, praising uh, something very particular about. But this Thirukkural and Thiruvalluvar completely eliminated particularity. This, po this poem or this book will not talk about any specific individual, any specific god or any specific topic because he knows if I have to talk about any specific thing that is time bound and it will not last long. That is one of the reasons he completely eliminated singularity, particularity and title orientation. Completely it is being eliminated in Thirukkural. So what did this genius actually reduce? This genius actually reduced the number of words which has been used in the poems because Sangam poems typically have long long passages praising the kings and praising the gods this gentleman beautifully reduced like four little words in the top and three little words in the bottom just two two lines in one chapter 10 such poems and having 133 chapters is what this three is all about. So how does it translate to reduction? You won't, you won't believe in those days palm leaves were on which these scriptures were written. It actually reduced the consumption of palm leaves. Not only that, it actually reduced the memory time in terms of recapability of the, you know, uh, uh, an increased recapability of the people who wanted to actually remember the poems. That way he actually reduced the palm leaves consumption, he also reduced the number of words, he also reduced 
you know, time required to actually recap the kind of a poem that whatever we are talking about when lot of poems by the time were going for pages and pages and pages and pages. So what did this guy actually raise? By removing singularity, by removing particularity, he actually increased the applicability of this poem. He has written about management, he has written about family life, he has, he has written about how a politics, he has written about a king, he has written about including love, romance and even lust. And he has written all about 133 chapters. That is what he has increased in terms of applicability. And second, phonics. Look at this poem. If you read some of the poems, you know, it will be like as if you can sing like a song. And some of the chapters and some of the words that he has used are very, very simplistic that actually can be translated to maximum number of languages. If you just actually read, given the context of what Tamil Changam is all about, there were heavy words which were used by the time, but Tilkural is actually, he has used simplistic words where everybody can actually easily translate. So what did he create? He actually created three beautiful things, my dear friends. One is the new format, which is like four little words in the top and three little words in the bottom, which actually is called as Kural Venba, which actually became a new format. And the name Kural Venba actually comes from Tirukural. In that way, it is very, very simple for anybody to remember. That is something he actually created. And he also created, there are a lot of Tirukural which actually stands with only metaphor. There will be only metaphor and the interpretation is actually left to the audience. Metaphor is actually not compared to any specific things. You can interpret it in your own way. That is the creativity which he has left. And third, there are Tirukurals where one single word has multiple meanings in the same Tirukural. He has used one word for multiple meanings and there are a lot of Tirukurals like that. And these three things, at least in my minimal understanding that he has newly created. So look at this ERRC that whatever he has done in very simplistic things, you know, that is one of the reason that why this Trikural is actually, actually competing and actually made all the competition not only irrelevant by the time of the Sangam age and even today. And that's one of the reasons this Trikural stands out and it has been translated in the maximum number of global languages. You can take clues for Trikural clues from Tirukural for your personal life, business life, management and anything. So if anybody wants to really, really, really search for the purpose of life and if you look for any kind of a book and I'm just suggesting this to you, what I have is Tirukural and this gentleman that whatever you are seeing here is Tiruvallavar and this is the book I'm talking about and you can, you can, you can actually go online, it is freely available and what I have is a beautiful format of this book. So Tamil and Tirukural. Is, is something that I, I feel so proud of because I, I, I come from this land which has which stands for its values, which stands for its culture, which also stands for its uniqueness and innovation. So thank you everybody for this opportunity and I will soon come back to you with one more beautiful